up guys we're coming out from Franklin Texas it's Halloween weekend 2020 got the archery equipment ready got the Hoyt got the Yeti ready to go we got three big eight points on camera this past couple of weeks and we're gonna try to make it the best um, we do have a couple of groups of hogs so we will see um, stay tuned I'll be here for the next two days trying to hunt and shoot a big eight point Well, I hit her about where I was aiming. I think that was the alpha sow. Alright guys, so I literally have been sitting in here about two and a half hours after daylight. I've been seeing a lot of bucks running and chasing does and out of nowhere a group of like 15 hogs comes out. Um, I pick probably the bigger one. She maybe ain't 50, 60 pounds and uh, I hit her pretty good and she dropped straight down shot her with the thunderhead so it's been about five minutes I haven't seen her move so I'm gonna go ahead and get all my stuff together and go get the four-wheeler and the shot was about 15 16 yards maybe all right so I got let me raise up there's my tripod seat right there and there's where I shot her. And I gotta be quiet. I gotta make this quick. Cause there's still six point walking around 100 yards. Dang, she broke my arrow. All right. I was gonna try to sit another hour and a half, but we also got the cows moving in again, so we'll go ahead and uh, load her up. I guess she might be close to 40 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and load her in the four-wheeler and go quarter her up. Alright, I don't know if you can see that, but some of the grounds tore up. That's what these hogs do. Sometimes, most of the times, we end up shooting them when we can. Sometimes we'll just run them off. Um, I had all day today. I'm off so figured I'd shoot one and get some meat Got her loaded up in the Yeti got one more quarter to get but We uh, we will have some pork in the freezer for the next few weeks till we finish it All right guys. Thanks for watching